positive experience. I think they tend to bring their best. They tend to, to push themselves a lot more. Um, but at the same time, they need to understand that you know that, that it's all dependent upon who the judges are, how they feel that day. If they like a certain particular song, maybe they don't like a song that you did. Uh, so it's very up in the air, and they just have to understand that on any given day, any group can win, any group can take second, any group can take third, um, any group. You know, it, it, it's all dependent on how the judges think. But but they have to understand that that it's a learning uh, process as well, so they can learn from it, and I think that's important. Competition. Um, when we when we first heard about it, we actually had had a prior engagement, but we um, we managed to make it to the competition to be able to, to perform, and um, we were we were uh, I want to say a little sad that we didn't get first place, but you know that just gives us another chance to better ourselves and to um, prepare for the next competition. Does that sadness stay with you just for that moment or does it hurt carrying it forward? Um, I think, I, I want to say both because it was kind of like, yeah, for that moment and then I, I also kind of want to use it, like I want to remember it so I can remember like, oh, I don't want to feel that feeling again so that way we could get better hopefully in the future. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to see uh, I'd like to see our students be able to play with with the, the major groups like Mariachi Sol de Mexico. Uh, you know, they're out here looking at them sound check right now and picking up tips and seeing you know what they do nuances, which I think is is just super beneficial. Anytime you can go uh, like if you can take your your minor league baseball team uh, students to go see the New York Yankees play, you know, or see them, you know, train, you know, that's the, some of the best experiences in the world. So it's the same with the same with my mariachi students, being able to see them, see the, the, the mariachi big leagues, and, and that's, you know, like I said, that's huge for them. Um, I love it. I think it's great how they're going around from each city and they're also having um, student participation and it's really great to uh, get students and younger kids excited about mariachi because then the tradition keeps continuing. My brother even started playing in mariachi asla and he joined this year, his freshman year. And um, my parents, uh, they offer a lot of support. And, um, and they don't just support us in mariachi, they also, they're also on us all the time, get good grades, get, um, be, be on time, you know, be punctual. They, uh, they want the best for us. A lot of experiences that I've had, I've been able to gain a lot of people skills and um, social skills as well. And just being able to like not be afraid anymore. Like uh, projects in class would scare me. Like oh, I have to go up and talk in front of the whole class. And now it's kind of like oh, I can do that. <laughs> and just recently speaking with my principal at Pueblo High School, he was talking about how he'd love to expand our program and he'd love to see some of my students who now are going on to college uh, turn back around and become teachers uh, there at Pueblo, especially in the mariachi program and be able to grow the program even bigger than what it is right now. You know, Tucson is definitely one of the leaders in mariachi education. Um, it's expanded so much and it's expanded all over the place and I just, I would love for it to see it even continue to expand. Um, but, you know, of course, with any type of uh, educational situation here, you know, I, I would like to see a little more support. We, we have a big community support, but even getting more support from, you know, our, our government and, uh, and, and just even the district at times too, uh, just giving, just give, you know, pushing us a little bit further, pushing the, the, the program, the entire program of Tucson um, into the future. 
you know, hopefully, like I said, implementing it in more schools than just the, the, the number of schools that they have here, which is a pretty good, it's a pretty good percentage, but there's still a lot of other schools that have come to me or have talked to me in the past about hopefully doing a mariachi program. But part of it is just, you know, getting these teachers, getting getting some some qualified teachers in the, in the workforce to be able to come and teach mariachi. Um, just as long as they, they understand that music plays such a huge uh, part of our culture and not just the Mexican-American culture, but culture in general. Um, you know, music ties together. Just one simple thing that I heard from, uh, from a lady that I just recently had a conversation with. She said, music is the language of peace. <laughs> Thank you. 